Have you ever gone on a date with a guy for like a foodie call? Yeah, so I do this. I let all of them know my intentions beforehand. Guys enjoy spending money on me and I'm not gonna say no. Uh, typically, I keep around four or five of them just because some of them pay for different things. Why do you feel like it's okay for you to say that men ain't shit or men are trash? Men really aren't shit. Welcome back to the Controvert Podcast, where we talk about modern dating. My name is Panda, and I'm your host. We actually have a guest today, where she was on the Whatever Podcast, super feminist, and she got married from this podcast. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> she got married from this podcast. We actually talked about in the last podcast how she divorced, so you guys could feel free to check that out. But today, we have a different, oh, sorry, I bumped into that. We have a different topic. You ready for it? sure she said she was scared i did not say that this one's a hit piece by the way oh my god it's a hit Here we piece go. all right so we follow each other on ig mm -hmm. you posted a couple weeks ago on a note do you remember what you posted no <laughs> you don't remember what you posted no. i replied to it i was like debate time let's go oh because i said men ain't shit or something yeah men ain't shit is that what i said yeah <laughs> Oh, yeah. You pretty much, I think you said men are trash. Maybe. You said something like men ain't shit or men are trash. Something along those lines. Something like that. Okay. But that had nothing to do with my marriage. Okay. I mean, let's just assume it, it does this or does not whatever. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to ask, why do you feel like it's okay for you to say that men ain't shit or men are trash? Because like, it's a personal opinion. It's, it's a personal opinion? Yeah. I don't think like worldwide, but I could say women aren't shit either. Okay, so uh, me as a man, mm -hmm. or me as you know, I identify as. Did it hurt your ego? I identify I as a legend. <laughs> I identify as a panda. Um, so I'm actually a beast. Me as a beast, calling a girl trash, or just saying like women mm -hmm. ain't shit. Women are trash. Mm-hmm. Is okay. It, like, is that okay? Like, how do you think <laughs> the public is going to react with that? I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter. That's your personal opinion. I feel like, realistically, they'd be like, fuck that dude. They would cancel me, right? Probably. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I want to ask, why is it okay for women to say men are trash? But then, when it comes to the other way around... When men say women ain't shit, or we want better women, or just anything in regards to like women are not competent enough or good enough, how come that is deemed as misogynistic? Because, I don't know. I mean, I feel like women can only be better because of men. Like, I said that because I had a friend group I was in a couple months ago where all three of these dudes were cheating on their girlfriends okay and it just made me realize like how men really aren't shit because that's crazy they all helped each other lie to each other's girlfriends about cheating on each other like it was so bad but women aren't shit either because there was a girl that was in it who was cheating with the guy and she knew he had a girlfriend Okay, I'm just going to be fair. I feel like there's more cheater guys than girls. Because I think genetically speaking, guys are just more horny, right? Like what we talked about. Men, they swipe way more on like Hinge. Like they swipe right way more. Tinder, mm -hmm. whatever. Dating apps. Whereas like women, they're just like super exclusive with who they want to like match with. So like guys, they're just like, I want anything. I want to fuck anything. Okay. So we can agree on that. But I, I feel I like don't know men are only gonna... like that because men aren't men don't get as emotionally attached as women do. True. Yeah, but is it right to say like all men ain't shit? I feel like there's such thing as self control. Like, do you know how men will talk shit about women for having a specific body count? Right? But men can have that same body count and no one says anything. I find it like I don't even care about the body count thing. I care about the statement of 
women don't respect themselves like women just give themselves to anybody but it's the same thing like you as a man should value yourself enough to know when to say no to not go around and be like pussy is pussy so i can fuck anybody and everybody and it's fine like if anything you should respect yourself enough to be like hey you know what that girl isn't worth yeah but does, does that make it okay for women to just generalize all men and just go like men are all trash yeah because majority of men do cheat majority of men do lie and majority of men but, do manipulate but just because a guy just he cheats he plays with a lot of women he sleeps with a lot of women that makes him trash so what about the men who emotionally manipulate women the men who will keep a woman around same question does that make him trash yes because you as a person can't realize that what you're doing is wrong what if he's like really nice to his family and his friends he just does this if he was raised the right way he would know not to treat women that way or to and if he had a dad that was a good dad then he would know to respect it's it's just this one perspective this one this one characteristic of his that's bad that makes his whole personality trash and that makes it okay for women to just spread this crap about men being trash. Yeah. That makes it okay. Is that what you want me to say? That makes it okay, but then it doesn't make it okay for men to say women are trash. Because you literally came from a woman. I came from a woman. That's why I can't say... <laughs> yeah. You came from a man, a too. A woman gave you life. A man gave you life. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's a both a woman and a man gave life. Women you know can't women just can give... make their own babies, right? How? With their bone marrow. It's a scientific thing now. With their bone marrow, they can yes. make their own babies. Yeah, like they, they can, can impregnate themselves. Now. Hold up. Let me chat GPT Look it up. this crap. <laughs> it's a thing. Let me chat GPT this crap. <laughs> Bring it up on the screen. That it might be possible in theory to create sperm-like cells from a woman's bone marrow and idea with bone change. Yeah, they've literally... It might be possible in theory oh my goodness it's in a theory thing. uh-huh it's been done yes done yes or no i'm pretty sure it has okay. it was a topic that was brought up whether well, it has or it, hasn't if if it has <laughs> i think it would be breaking news like for the whole world so you probably just heard like a article like a news headline and you're just probably just capping right now but what i'm trying to say this is that my point is women can say that men are trash but men cannot say women are trash. And when a man does, he gets canceled. But women can just normally say it and so nothing happens to them. So who decides that though? Who decides that? The society. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Why does everyone care yeah, so Yeah, but what is the society comprised of? I don't know. <laughs> what is it comprised of? <laughs> like women. Okay, men, women, LGBT, right? LGBT. L- LGBT. I don't know why I had an aneurysm saying that. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyways. The gays. So this is my experience. And I feel like a lot of men can like agree with this. Mm-hmm. Whenever men 10 years ago on Facebook, whenever we would say anything relatively bad about women, just anything that was like, oh, a girl could have done this better. Girls would take that the wrong way and they would just like completely blow up feminists online, keyboard warriors lgbt people too i say people because i don't know like do i say dumb i don't know then. okay people and then it became to a point where it's just like men in general they just didn't want to talk anymore online they're just scared of getting canceled so that was 10 years ago and that's kind of like why now it has even developed to a point where i think it is teeter-tottering where now women just go like oh yeah we've suppressed men lgbt has suppressed men they work together women and lgbt suppress men so that men cannot speak anymore and now they can all say men are trash they can all say masculine men are trash but we men we men we can't say the the same back because men don't actually think about the emotional aspect behind the things they say so like when you see most what about posts, the trash women? When you see most posts, yeah, but women usually say that because they've been hurt emotionally by a man. What about a man that has been hurt emotionally by women? Then they, but that's what I'm saying though. Do they talk about it? No, they just say, "Oh, they're just hoes. Like they're just bitches." So just because they talk about it, it makes it okay for a woman to spread negativity and go like, "Men are all trash," and then spread, you know, the gospel right of Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. You're just spreading like a teaching, pretty much, and then all these women are just incepted with this idea men are all trash and they treat 
all men like trash. Because majority of men are trash. Majority of men don't respect themselves. Majority of the men, like these days, especially like within my my personal age group, right? Most men will hit you with the same thing. I'm not ready for a relationship or I'm stuck in this situation with this girl that I don't like. Um, or like I'm stuck with this, you know, person and it's just, you know, I don't want her, but I also don't want you, but they do everything with you. That makes it seem like it's a relationship. Like majority of the time, it is the man making the, sh- like calling the shots, right? Like a girl will be like, oh, I really like you. And she will be dumb enough really? in a sense, dumb enough in a sense to be like, yeah, I'll sit Damn, here and do these things with you. At? I'll sit here and do these things with Maybe you. 10 years ago. Thinking there's anymore. a chance of a relationship happening. And then it never does. Like, okay, I appreciate the guys who are like, yeah, you know, like I'm not really looking for a relationship. And then they still do everything that you would do in a relationship. Mm-hmm. But those guys that don't say anything and then eventually they come out and they're like, yeah, this whole time I haven't wanted a relationship. I just wanted all the benefits of being in a relationship. Like that is majority Girls do what that it is too. Now. But who does it majority of the I, time? I mean, okay. Majority the, the, the thing you're me. looking at though is like these are outlier cases. <laughs> fuck boys and fuck girls, okay? The majority of people, they're like average Joes. You're mm-hmm. only probably looking at those guys who are top dogs who get all the pussy. And you're probably only willing to sleep with those top dogs. A.K. Nate. Shut up. A.K. Logan. Ew. Don't you ever say some shit like that to me again. I would never. That man is probably walking around with STDs or something these days. Hanging out with all those OnlyFans girls. How are you going to hang out with the same people you talk Dude, shit you're about? you're still eating Yes, st- I am. How many, how many is that now? Four. Four? Dude, you're gonna get fat ass shit from that. No, I'm not. I'm skinny. I weigh okay. like 97 pounds. This is probably helping me. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just thinking that you're just looking at those types of guys. And that's why you affiliate all guys like that. I actually have a lot of friends. My majority of friends, they can't get pussy. Why do you think that is? Because they're ugly? Or what? Probably ugly. Probably they don't make enough. And it's only like a small percentage of dudes that make it a lot. I also have those friends too. They pull. But then it's it's only a small percentage of like my all my friends that are like that. So like for women to say that, like for example, you, you say that and it spreads to like 10 women and that 10 is spreads to like 100. Then you're kind of spreading the gospel that we should treat men like shit. And then when you treat men like shit, they're like, whoa, what the hell? This girl's treating me like crap. She's not affectionate. I don't treat men like shit, though. Okay, but when you say them. things like that, it's going to fuel other women to treat men like crap. And then, then men will go like, well, we can't find any good and submissive women. Why so, do you say submissive? Don't say that. All right. Don't say that. That is because That's the red... I don't need... I don't, okay, I don't need... I don't need a submissive woman. <laughs> I'm saying like these red term. pill dudes. These red pill dudes would be like, we can't find submissive women. Nobody wants a red pill man. Wo- Nobody wants a red pill man. Okay. Because l- God forbid, he is probably the one man l- that let is me, least let me, affectionate. Let me just rephrase that. Okay. Affectionate, caring, nurturing women. Okay. So You know what type of men gain those women? Respectful what? men. Yes. Men who actually communicate and reciprocate the same thing that women are also giving them. Yes. And that's how many men... But you know what also? What what other kinds of men that also get that? Fuckboy men. That manipulate. Do so it's, it's not like a one size fits all where you just go like, oh yeah, men are all trash. Let's just all treat them like trash. But see, I think you, you're blowing you, out you of proportion because I didn't mean it like that. I, I know you didn't mean it like that. Like knowing you, I know you don't mean it like that. It's just the thing is when you say men ain't shit, when you say men are trash, it spreads this gospel. Okay. And then now it's more women will believe that and they will treat these guys like trash because you say whatever you say you believe you live by your mantra have you ever heard you get what you give off like majority of the time men that approach women approach them in a sense of disagree. like not well, what do you mean you, you, you didn't disagree. even finish what i had to say no i know what you're gonna say it's most because men you're, come you're trying off to say in like, a way that's like that's like no. okay I have so many friends that are also not like still a small majority of like my friends, right? Mm-hmm. Small percentage. But I have so many friends that are like just playing girls. 
and they're not serious and they're they look respectful so do you have a lot of girlfriends who are playing a lot of men i don't oh but okay. my percentage okay. of do you see the ratio though? of men to like women friends that i have obviously it's like five to one so you can't really and plus women also don't tell they don't kiss and tell that much like guys do. guys we just that is like, not true girls literally tell other girls like girl like okay but they don't tell like male friends like me they're not gonna tell me oh yeah i played around i fucked around yeah you know girls tell other girls that yeah but guys don't hear that shit and then so. girls that have guy best friends will literally go tell their guy best friends that okay there's a secret <laughs> Girls that have guy best friends tell their guy best friends about different guys that they're sleeping with and different guys that they're talking to. So men do know. And those are the men that'll still want to be with their girl best friend at the end of the day, knowing how she... Like, do you know why it's so different when I have guy friends? Because I get to hear how they talk about other women. And that is what gets me. Okay, but, like, my main point with this is that, like, when guys, they get talked like they're trash. They wouldn't want to date this kind of women at all, Period. Like, maybe you might be thinking, yeah, I'm doing some good and saying, like, men are trash, so women would act more mighty and superior than men so they don't get hurt. But what they're actually doing is just making a surefire way that they don't get any relationship at all. So you think that I've could, lessened that could my out. chances of being in a relationship? If you treat men like that. But I don't treat But like it'll that. lessen your chances of getting a man if you tell him, hey, men are trash. I think men are ain't shit. That would definitely lessen your chances. Because that guy will affiliate this girl like, oh, this girl's negative. Well, I don't think that men are all trash. I just said that because I think it was the song that I put on. Mm. I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> Usually my notes affiliate with the song that's playing. Okay, you look at it like a joke though, you know? Like yeah, you're just like, oh yeah, you're, you're laughing it off. But you know, you see the gravity of the situation. You probably don't because you're not getting affected. But I also only have like 200 followers. <laughs> so out of those 200 yes, followers. Yes, but that, okay, still 200. What I'm saying is the attitude, right? It doesn't matter how many followers you have. You're still spreading this negativity. Okay. Right? You have 200, you have 100, you have 10 friends. <laughs> Imagine you have 10 Instagram friends. They're all your close female friends. Wait, give me one sec. I got to turn off this AC. It's getting cold. cold. Hell, right? it's, it's cold, right? <laughs> I'll be right back. All right. I think that's why I was kind of getting a little bit like brain fog. And I was just like stuttering my speech. Because it was cold. It was getting cold, man. That's why I was like losing my track, my train of thought. Struggles of filming. All right. So while I was... Bro. (laughs) Bro. Is that your fifth one now? (laughs) Can can you show the camera again? I mean, we showed it on the last video, but show it for this one. It's like this like Asian melon candy. I don't know. It's really good. <laughs> All right. Anyways, what I was saying is that if you have like 10 friends, your best friends, mm-hmm. and they they believe that shit, you know, they have conviction, they're going to spread that to everyone. And then that spreads to everyone. It's like an MLM. It's like a pyramid scheme. But you're right? not a girl. I'm not a girl, but then but it's going to affect me indirectly. But you're speaking about a girl's perspective. No, I'm saying majority like majority of the time in those situations, girls will just be like, "Oh my god, girl, what happened?" And then you tell them about your situation. And, and then, then she posts online, "Many shit, men are trash." And then what was that? So what about the guys that post on social media all over the place that women are hoes or women are bitches or like they're trash too? Well, what I'm saying is, men do the same thing. They just do it indirectly. They have their own ways of like, they have I, their I just own said, men ain't shit. I just said those types of men are trash. I'm not saying like all men are trash. I'm saying those types of men are trash, right? I'm also saying that the women that say men are trash are trash too. Why is that? Is because, are you familiar with the term misandry? You don't know what misandry is. Okay. Misandry, you know what misogyny is, right? Mm-hmm. So the hating or contemptful attitude towards, towards women. women. So it's pretty much misandry is the opposite of that, but to men. I thought so, that was feminism. No, it, misandry <laughs> is like the hating of men. So anyways, like misandry is not a popular term because we as a society like to throw around this fucking stupid ass term misogyny. Mm-hmm. Anything that relatively has to do with looking down on a woman or not being content with a woman, then... Damn, hitting the babe again. All right. 
anything with that like it, it would just like make it so that you know it's like misogyny but then we don't coin this term misandry mm -hmm. i think we should actually bring up misandry we should bring up this term misandry because a lot of women are just calling men trash all the time yeah and we're not holding women accountable for example you i don't hate men i know you don't but then you're spreading that negativity how come i can't say women are trash but you can say men are trash me personally you can say whatever you want i don't care <laughs> okay but you believe in gender equality um that's when it comes to like working and like yes okay household. So, oh okay but so, like emotionally so you believe in half gender equality yeah because i told you i said like yeah i believe in that but i don't think for the that, ones like, that benefit you no what did i say go back run the clip back what did i which say? one i did bro? not say that the one where i said like i believe in gender equality in certain situations yes like when it comes to men and women should both work yes and both help in the household that's what i said yes but I did not say when it comes to like, what are we talking about? What we're talking about is like, like saying men ain't shit. Yeah, men ain't shit. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I don't think that that's a thing. I think that if men feel that way, it's their personal opinion. But what I do. Okay. I see your point when it comes to it spreads the wrong idea. And men get canceled because of this. But men I don't think that's a like a huge thing as to why men get canceled most men get canceled because they okay. are hoes because okay. of the concept okay. of them saying what you said earlier i should fuck bro, whoever i want bro, all, all, I I, all pussies put the same all i said on tiktok was i think women who just want to be and aspire to be a housewife they're lazy because my mom she takes care of she took care of three kids growing up um and she works full-time she cooks and cleans all these people mostly women on tiktok were just like oh my god his dad's lazy you know what this guy wants to treat his future wife as a slave oh my god it's crazy but so, that goes back to that video that you just posted of me saying that like every relationship is different and every different thing works for different relationships like obviously correct. if you have a man that makes a lot of money and he doesn't but want her to what work, I'm, it works. why i brought this up this tiktok up is because men get treated differently i say one small thing like that they start going like oh this guy's a lazy fuck this guy doesn't do shit. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. Dude, in all my relationships, I did way more than the girl. And people also called my dad lazy. I was like, dude, you guys are wild. There's a load of assumptions. Yeah, have you guys seen this house? So actually, I just want to clarify something. My dad, he comes home after like three jobs. He comes home at like 9 p.m. sometimes. He still fixes like a lot of the house shit. My mom, yeah, she cooks and cleans. But then for like this dynamic household you obviously are going to have a harder and more work lifestyle or else you're just going to be living really cheap. What I'm saying is that like, if you want to be like one of those households that are at the top, you, you all have to work hard. And then, so when I posted this, everyone, bunch of women were just like, yo, this guy's lazy. Yo, his dad's lazy. That's what I'm trying to say. Like men get treated differently. Men get treated unequally and we're catering towards women now where women can talk all this shit plethora of shit to men even online yeah <laughs> yeah <Okay>. yeah <laughs> so there's no gender equality with that i think that social media is a scam people believe what they see because they have nothing else going on in their lives like that's why i have like when it comes to Instagram and stuff, like I don't really care that much about what people post on there and stuff. I feel like there's so much brain rot going around when it comes to relationships and this false sense of reality. So I don't, I don't know. That's true. Like that's, that's what people see. Like that's why these men are going around saying like, I want a traditional wife because why? Because you think they came up with that on their own? No, it's because they saw a stupid video. Yeah. That's about true. how like i want a woman that doesn't work and go to like doesn't go to school and just stays M home most and people in real life they're just like equal actually like mm. it's like the man and women working but then i think it's because of this brain rot it actually affected some people's relationships like for example mine uh in the past there'd be some girls like who, who would be like oh you should pay for everything for me i'm like what the f you work too <laughs> and it's not even like a proportional income difference like a crazy amount Plus, like, I've already given a lot. What the fuck have you given? And then so then it becomes this, like, unilateral relationship where the guy is giving everything, bringing a lot of tea to the table, but the woman is not bringing anything back. So I think a relationship 
it goes both ways. You can't just have one person giving everything because then the man in that sense would start to think like, okay, this something is lacking with this. Yeah. Unless this guy is a super f- simp or just actually really traditional, but he can back it up with his finance that he's like, no, no, no. Let me give you everything financially. All you have to do is just give me like nourishment and just give me your, like your affection. I, I feel like women kind of base that to a high standard. Like they are, apply that to everything so they're like oh th- this guy did that for this girl why can't you do that why can't you just give me all your money i'm like bitch we're not even married yet what the fuck are you talking about that's what Tripping. i'm saying social media is brain rot and you know what i think that men should i think men need to stand on business more <laughs> i think they need to they have do. more respect for themselves i think they they should just be the same way women are like women will sit here and be like these are my standards and you must you know give me all your money or you know do all these things and it's like men should be doing the same thing yeah no it's funny that you mentioned that because i was gonna bring that up because i feel like what happened with this is that men they got belittled so much on social media by women and lgbt Mm-hmm. because they let it happen they were just like so docile about it they're passive they're just like ah fuck it i don't want any trouble let me just deactivate my facebook and then that's what made women and lgbt just think you know what let's talk let's talk shit about men let's just say they're trash yeah let's spread the shit and then men don't even want to fight back because they're just like oh i got important shit to do so then it's just this endless spiral for for men because they can't say anything because if they do they get canceled and then they need to work too because if they don't work, they're not going to get anyone. They're, they're not even going to provide for themselves. So it's also on the men's fault. Um, but that's another reason why this podcast was created for that help for men, but also for women. We want to also see it from like a balanced point of view. We don't want to be like Red Pill and be like, yo, women got to be like submissive as shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I think that they, I think men and women both have things they have to work on on their sides. I think when it comes to social media, that men should definitely step it up a bit when it comes to allowing such things to take over their mindset. I think that they're so easily influenced, especially the ones that feel like they're not as far as they should be in life. True. Like, you know, people who watch the whatever podcast or men who watch, you know, Logan's stupid fucking podcast fresh and fit they yeah like they literally sit there and they watch it and they're like i want to be like these men because they have all these girls here and this is the way to go and it's like it's not how the world works you know that's that's not how the world works and at the end of the day like you need to sit there and learn to respect yourself and realize that being bitches is not the way of life like that's not going to get you your status that's not going to get you the career you want that's not going to get you where you want to be in life and the same thing with women like you don't need to be on OnlyFans to be i'll give them some credit though there's some ideals that they believe in for example, I could think of one off the top of my head, which is like, what the hell are you looking at me like that for? Go ahead. God damn. So intimidating. Okay. I could think of one where it's like, if a woman sleeps around, she will have affection towards all of these men because women are just emotional in general, right? Mm-hmm. You you admitted that yourself. So that's why women can't really sleep around, but men can. I mean, I'm not saying that I wouldn't date a girl that slept around. I, I definitely did. I told you before, I had an open relationship. Oh, and that was actually one of my best relationships. Th- this girl that I was in, in an open relationship, she was like very promiscuous. I actually had the most happiness from that, which was really weird. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely chill with it. But I'm just saying like to normal guys' standards, that could affect them. Because this woman could be thinking about dick from like 10 years ago. She could probably be thinking about, oh shit, I love that guy's dick from so long Ew, ago. I, I miss nasty. it. I miss it so much. <laughs> you're gross. I don't know. I mean, I think <coughs> women but get you know emotional what? with that. No, they have more emotional attachment. It messes with men too. Like me and Nathan had a problem with that because he was so used to fucking all these bitches that when it came to us, <clears> the <throat> intimacy wasn't there because to him it was like it's all the same. He didn't appreciate it as much because he was so used to having such like so much access to it uh-huh. that it wasn't the same oh so you felt like he wasn't intimate with you i just feel like it didn't mean anything like guys think of it as like oh it is what it is like sex is what it is but it's really not what about those candies do they mean more to you <laughs> yeah. intimately yeah. <laughs> so weird what's that your sixth one bro Bro. They're good candies. Holy shit, where's my basket at? Dude. It's gone. Oh my I god, it it's home. almost empty or what? <laughs> oh my god. By the time we're done, it'll be empty. Alright. Um 
that's all I got for this. That was the hit piece. I think, you know, you, you shouldn't be spreading that negativity. It does create this cycle of violence. Mm-hmm. But I know where you're coming from. It's only because I know you. And we've had like a podcast talk before. Um, but obviously, other than that, we, we don't really talk. I mean, it's just a podcast. <laughs> well, phone works both ways. But anyways, yeah, I mean, I think that we should definitely coin the term misandry a lot more. We should make that a big thing. What do you think? A hatred towards men, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if we're going to do it I for feel misogyny. Like that's very, yeah, I feel like that's fair. There's a lot of hatred towards men out there. A lot of misconstructed hatred towards men. Like, I feel really bad. Like, I'm a huge advocate for Men's Mental Health Awareness Month because I, mm-hmm. I have a brother and my okay. dad as well. I feel like men's mental health is not talked about enough. And I think I think the fact that like certain months have more attention over that, like, you know, Black History Month or, you know, LG like Pride Month, all yeah. of that stuff is you're telling me all of that is way more important than men's mental health. Yeah, no one gives a shit about men. Like, mental but health. But that's stupid. Well, like I definitely think sad. I'm a huge advocate for that. Like I tell I told all my friends, like, hey, happy, you know, mental mental health awareness month. Um because not a lot of people can sit there and listen to a man and accept that they also have feelings. Like, whether men accept it or not, they have feelings. And, Damn, you know, like, sometimes... Don't make me tear up, man. Most, most suicides, actually, like, a lot of suicides are men. It is, yeah. Like, and no one pays attention to that. I feel like we, as women, because we are so more emotionally, like, intelligent, like, we're so much more aware of our own emotions, that we should be there more to help men with their emotions and not make fun of them or talk shit on them or be like oh well you're just a pussy like no like it's a human thing we all have feelings we all have emotions women are just more intact with them than men are because to society it's not an accepted thing and i think that's not fair at all i think that men should be allowed to talk about their emotions i think that as long as you know they're able to handle them like they're not going around you know like using it against other people like oh well i'm sad you know like how women do like how those women do where they're like well it's because i'm sad type of thing like but if men are in touch with their own emotions i feel like it definitely helped them be more available to women but also in a sense of where they're being protecting themselves to where they're not sharing that with certain women that are going to use it against them but like i said i'm a huge advocate for that and i i accept the fact that men have emotions and that's what it is because we're all just human and that should be more looked into rather than being hated on. <laughs> this was good. This was a, a really good short. <laughs> Definitely going to pop off yes. on TikTok. Or Everyone's going to love shorts. that one. All right. We're going to end it here on the Controvert Podcast. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys think that misandry should definitely be a, a big term. Leave a like know. on this video. We should, we should do like a hashtag misandry movement or something. Hashtag let's do it. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Peace out.